Hello plant people, how are you guys doing today? If you're new around here, my name is Ashley and I'm a soil scientist. On this channel, I like to take that science and apply it to all things plants. And in today's video, we're talking about whether or not you should actually plant your plants deeper in the soil, especially when you are in a cold climate. So my life has been changed officially because this has been my go-to planting tomato way of doing things. I deeper the better, that sort of mind game. I've completely changed my concept and this year when I plant my tomatoes outdoors which won't be for a while yet because I am in zone three my last frost date is June 10th ish and so I usually will wait for a very very long time um, I've done I'm gonna do a video on season extenders if it's not already out yet nonetheless June 10th ish is when these guys are going to go outdoors and so the question is do I plant them deeper well I'm not going to this year I'm going to actually plant them at staggering levels and then I'm gonna report back to you guys what the results are and I would actually really love it if you guys also would keep an excel sheet of what um, levels you're keeping things at um, how many tomatoes you planted that sort of thing and document your experience i think it'd be fun for us as like a gardening canada community to just collect a whole bunch of data points to see if it's worth doing this in canada so if you're interested in that and being a part of this experiment then please send me an email ashley at gardeningcanada.net or dm me on instagram or facebook and I will send over the Excel sheet that I made that I'm going to be recording my data on. And then you guys can record on that. Just it's through Google Sheets, so it's free to do. And then you guys can record, submit your results at the end of the year because I'm, I'm interested to see what the results are. But nonetheless, I digress. What does the science say? So this is one of the things that's just been a habit of mine. I got it from my grandma and it's just what I've done with tomatoes my entire gardening life I never really questioned why we did it and I never really looked up whether or not there was any science to support it so you guys actually challenged me to look up journal entries that would indicate whether or not their science applied to this sort of thing now most of the data out there just simply doesn't exist and the data that does exist is based out of mostly Florida so the question becomes, does this apply to cold climate gardeners? And the answer is maybe not. <laughs> so on my blog post, um, which if you did not know, sometimes when I'm vetting ideas for YouTube videos, I'll just do a blog post before, kind of listing out the ideas um, and voicing my whole thing. I don't know, it's just my way of doing, organizing the video stuff. But in that, I uh, looked at the soil temperatures in Florida versus the soil temperatures in Canada. Now, pop up on the screen what that looks like here. So there is some staggering differences in soil temps. And if you've watched my video on advantageous roots versus trichomes, you know that tomatoes are pretty sensitive to temperatures. And so they do have appendages, for lack of a better term, in place to help regulate that. And one of which is advantageous roots and deeper planting. So tomato roots like to be in around 20 degrees Celsius uh, temperatures. Anything lower than that, they tend to struggle. Anything higher than that, they tend to struggle. In Florida, where these studies were done, the soil temperature where the root ball is level with the soil surface is very warm at 27 degrees Celsius, which is 70 degrees over where a tomato root wants to be. At 10 centimeters down, it gets a little bit cooler. Two feet, five feet, it just progressively gets cooler. So the theory is, and what this Florida study came to the conclusion about, was the idea that tomatoes like are able to regulate their temperatures better when they have a planting depth involved. When we get deeper into the soil profile, we end up getting cooler roots, and so our plant is able to regulate the temperature a little bit better. But in Canadian soils, the deeper in the soil profile we get, the cooler we get, but could we be getting outside of the range of ideal for tomatoes? And the answer to that is yes. The exception to that is if you're a container gardener or a raised bed gardener, your soil temperatures may be higher, and so you would benefit from actually planting deeper. But if you're planting tomatoes in the ground, there is the possibility that your soil temps aren't getting warm enough. And so your plant is struggling and you're actually harming your yields by planting lower in the soil profile. Now this can be countered using things such as solarization, in particular red mulch. Um, plastic mulch is ideal for tomatoes and I can go in the science behind why red is that way, but 
anything that will solarize black that sort of thing that will actually insulate and warm the soil is going to help as well as holding off and placing your mulch on the soil until your soil temperatures get up to temp and then insulating with that heat um, using the mulches will again help to yield higher yields. So with all that being said, I think the best solution here to determine what depth in which you should plant your tomatoes would be to use a soil thermometer, which I have mine on order, and I'm going to use this year to determine my planting depth for my study. Um, and it's also going to be used on, and you don't, if you're gonna help with a study, you don't have to buy the soil temperature uh, meter. It's just a nice to have, because I do wanna record my soil temps throughout the year based on the bed that I'm growing in. But with that being said, um, you would know what your soil temperature is at, and then that's the depth in which you would plant to. Remembering, keeping in mind, 20 degrees is ideal. So if 20 degrees is in the top portion of the soil profile, we're only going to plant the root ball. Whereas if it's warmer, um, deeper down, that's where we would plant to. Now, with all that being aside, just planting deeper in general does give the tomato more support. And that was noted in the study, regardless of the soil temperature. But I think the higher yield was a result of that lower planting depth and the ability for that plant to then regulate the temperatures due to that. So there are some rules to follow if you choose to plant your tomato deeper and you are going to follow this study. And I'm going to be planting at three different depths this year based on the same way that the Florida study did it. So the three depths are root ball, and I have him wrapped up in a wet um, paper towel because he's like my demo tomato today. So you can tell he's just like bashed up from my other videos. So the first option would be to the root ball. So root ball would be where the roots end and that would be depth one. And that would be the depth for cooler soils. The second depth that you wanna to plant to is to the cotyledon. So that is this floppy disc-like leaf that doesn't look like these fingery leaves yet. That would be depth number two. And then depth number three is going to be to the first true leaf, which is this guy that's bent over here. So the maximum depth that the Florida study ever went to was to this first true leaf. So you'd want to plant to right there. And so those are the three depths I'm going to plant at. And I'm going to take my tomatoes and do a third, a third, a third of each depth, and then record from there and mark them appropriately. And the stakes I'm marking with are the perma stake stakes. So these metal ones. And the reason for that is because they have mine's full of soil right now they have like this little hole in there and i'm actually going to hang it off of the tomato plant so then i know for sure that this is the planting depth for that tomato and i'm not mixing and mass matching stakes up as i'm like hoeing and weeding and whatever else so that is what i'm going to do i can't say with any level of certainty that your soil in canada is too cold to plant at a deeper depth and i can't say whether or not your soil by midsummer is ideally a root ball depth. I can't indicate that because there's so many factors that go into soil temp from how much how many hours of sun it gets to how much water holding capacity it has to the bulk density of the soil even to the color <laughs> the color of the soil is going to determine um, how warm that soil can get throughout the season so it's gonna be hard for me to say for sure for you in your area what to do so I encourage you to be your own garden scientist and actually go in and perform your own tests again just third a third a third go through um, and plant them at varying depths and then count or weigh, preferably weigh your harvest from each to determine what's best for your micro environment. Because remember, it's gonna be different. And that goes for me here. I have my raised beds here. This micro environment's going to be different than my raised beds over there, which get less sun um, versus my beds in the front yard, which are self facing, get a ton of sun, all of which have relatively the same soil, but different heights in beds, um, different exposures to sunlight, all are going to change that soil temperature. And so each bed may benefit from a different planting plan. So some tomatoes may benefit from being deeper in that bed, et cetera, and so forth. So do your own study, do your own test. I'm excited to see what you guys come up with. Um, and I'm again, check out the article that I wrote on this and some of the science behind it, but I'm excited to try it. I'm I'm leaning towards you guys that Canadian gardeners probably shouldn't be planting our tomatoes as deep as what we may think. The exception being container gardeners 
and raised bed gardeners on top of cement such as this one behind me but we'll see we'll see what the results are i want to thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed the video be sure to give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and let me know in the comments down below if you're going to join our google sheets study and i'm excited to see your guys's result i'll talk to you guys next time bye